Hello and welcome to how to create a startup title sequence for your game in Unreal Engine. So you may be familiar with the startup sequence in all your games where it shows you the logos of the people who made the game and the software they may have used and licensed to, it, uh, to create it. And you're probably wondering how the hell do you make that for your own games? Well, first of all, it's actually quite simple. All we need are some video files of the various different logo screens that we need to show. So how to get hold of the Unreal Engine one? You can actually get that from the Unreal Engine branding guidelines from their official website. You can download all the things you need from this link here, which takes you to this tab like so. And we can get hold of all the moving images and also logos uh, that have been approved by Epic. However, please be aware, if you are going to use these, you do need to fill out a trademark license agreement form and send it to trademark at epicgames.com prior to the implementation of your Unreal Engine logo. So make sure you do that before you release a game with the Unreal Engine logo slapped on it. So once you've got a hold of that and downloaded it, you'll also need one for your probably own studio. So I've made one here in Premiere Pro. Uh, I just brought in my picture of my logo here. We're just going to paste the opacity back up here. And it looks like that. I'm just going to animate it a little bit. So on the opacity here, I'm going to set that down to zero and key this and key that to 100 and towards the end we'll key that again and then back down to zero so it fades in and out okay a very simple animation obviously you can do whatever you like on this you can add overlays different effects different after effects you can do whatever you want for your logo uh, appearance well that'll do for me so once I've got that, I want to export that out. So file export. And you do want to make sure it is an MP4. So make sure you have got that exported correctly in the correct file type. Put that in there and export that. That shouldn't take two seconds. And there it is. So back to Unreal. What you need to do is create your own movies folder. So right click create new folder and name it movies. Then we want to go to the Content Explorer, uh, Explorer in the Ex Windows Explorer. So right click on Movies and go to Show in Explorer. And that will bring up a Windows Explorer uh, folder with the movies there. And what you want to do is drag in those various uh, movie files that you want to use. So here are the animated logos from Unreal. We're going to use uh, this one. We'll drag that in like so. And then I'm going to go get my one and plug that in there as well. So I've got two files there for me. I'm going to close this and head over to the project settings. In here, you're going to go up to the top left and you'll see the movies option. Click on this and you've got multiple options here. You can tick the wait for movies to complete, which basically means the game won't start until all the movies have been completed. Um, so it will keep going even if loading has finished, it will keep showing the logos. Um, Movies are skippable, so if you want this ticked, what it means is that the player can click with the mouse to skip the movies that they're currently watching. And then finally, you've got the startup movies list as an array, and you can choose what order they come in. So from that list, we can click on add and choose our first one. And I'm going to choose my Unreal Engine one. Add another. I'll choose my Studio one. Like so. And that is it. I'm going to turn on wait for movies to complete so we get to see the whole thing. And I'll leave off the skippable part. Now, whenever you are putting in logos for companies because of the software you used, please do check the license agreements with those companies to make sure that you either have to include their studio logo or get permission to use their logo. Some companies will not want you to use it at all. Some will require you to use it. So check that out. Get in contact with someone if you're unsure and they would let you know. So to test this out, what you do need to do is play this in standalone mode. So we go standalone and this will bring up the standalone game. And then we've got the first logo and the second logo. And then the game will start. And there you go. Nothing the game will play whilst that is doing that. So um, it's really cool, really simple, very quick to do. And um, yeah, have a crack at it, put it together. 
have some fun. There's some really cool websites where you can download some free studio uh, background things. Uh, so try them out, see what you can come up with. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more how to's, head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where your support will get you access to all my videos early before anyone else. I'll say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.